Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of June 5th to June 11th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Taurus, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. Now, I am currently sick, Taurus, so if I sound different, if my voice is weird, that's the reason why I'm fighting off a cold. All right. Let's get started. Let's look at your energy. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week? In regards to love and in regards to their person, whoever Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. All right, here we go. All right, Ten of Cups in reverse, Magician. Chariot, the Fool, Three of Wands, and Death. At the bottom, we have Hangman. All right, in regards to your energy, Taurus, um, pertaining to love, Ten of Cups, Reverse, Magician, Reverse, Chariot, Reverse. So you're not taking any action at all towards anyone. You're, you're deciding not to take any action towards anyone. You're deciding not, not to fight for this relationship. <clears throat> yeah, you're, you're not fighting for it. You're just letting it go with the death card. You've made the decision to end things with this person and it looks like you're trying to stick to that decision. It feels like that with the hangman in reverse. It feels like you're basically telling yourself, don't go back, don't go backwards. Remember, remember why you're doing what you're doing. Remember why you're ending things. Don't be tempted to give this another chance or to give this person another chance. I feel like that's what you're telling yourself. Don't get tempted. Don't get seduced. Don't fall into manipulation. Keep moving forward. This is not your happily ever after. You feel like you feel like you can't obtain a happily ever after with this person and that's what you want, Taurus. But you feel like You've exhausted all efforts. You've exhausted all efforts towards making this relationship work. And you've run out of gasoline. The char um, sorry, the chariot is like a car, a vehicle. In the reverse, it means there's no gas. You ran out of gasoline. You've run out of motivation, inspiration. This doesn't look like it's a, a, it's a risk worth taking anymore. This doesn't feel like it's a risk worth taking anymore. This feels like 
if you were to get back together with this person or if you were to go backwards, it would be foolish. It would be a foolish decision. You just feel like there's no future here with the three of wands in reverse. There's no future. There's no potential. And you feel like you have all the information that you need already. You feel like you've received all the truth that you needed to receive, that you needed to know. And you feel like there's nothing more to know anymore with the hangman in reverse. There's nothing else to, there's nothing more, or there's nothing else to know, or there's nothing else to discover. There's nothing else that you need to discover. You feel like you're seeing things clearly. And ultimately, you just feel like you're making the right decision by ending things and walking away. So you're either ending things with this person or you're continuing to to um, allow things to stay ended. You know, some of you are ending things this week and others of you, you know, things, you already ended things in the past before and this is you just kind of sticking to it, you know, sticking to your decision to not go back. You feel like there's better things out there for you, you know? You feel like there's a lot, there's much better things out there for you. Hmm. Interesting. You know, the hangman in reverse, it does kind of leave you a little bit vulnerable to this person because it does represent you still carrying a certain level of resentment inside of you. And when you carry resentment, it leaves you um, open and vulnerable to, to influences, to outside influences. So that's something to keep in mind. I feel like that's why you're so like focused on not going back, you know? Because there is a part of you that you know is still vulnerable to this person. There's a part of you deep down inside that's still vulnerable. And I feel like you're trying to keep that part of you under control, if that makes sense. Okay. Let's move on to the energy of your person now. Yeah. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is Taurus's person's energy towards Taurus this week? Almost like you're terrified of this person, you know. And the reason why you're terrified is because you have a soft spot. And you're you have a soft spot for this person, and you're terrified of them, you know, taking advantage of that. And I'm saying that also because the magician is in reverse. You're not quite you're not quite feeling 100% confident in yourself, you know? Mm. 
but I feel like you are committed to your cause. Uh, that's that's too much. What is this person's energy towards Taurus this week? What is this energy's what is this person's energy towards Taurus this week? Death in reverse. Five of Cups. Strength card. Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, the Devil, Three of Swords at the bottom. We have Scorpio energy here, and we have um, um, Scorpio again, more Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Aries, Capricorn. And we also have Libra. All right, so in regards to your person's um, energy towards you, Taurus, for the week. <coughs> Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, the world. I definitely see guilt. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is someone who's trying to accept that things are over between you two. They're just trying to accept it here. Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the world. This is, this is them trying to just kind of let it go, trying not to fight against it, trying to accept it. All right, it's over between me and Taurus. It is what it is. It is what it is. I guess I just have to move on. I'm not happy. It's this is not what I want, but it's not up to me. It's it's up to Taurus and Taurus doesn't want to be with me anymore. Taurus is over me. So I feel like they're in this energy of feeling bad and feeling sad. <coughs> but also feeling like there's nothing they can do about it. They are thinking about you a lot with the Eight of Swords, okay? Let's see what that's about. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is this person's energy towards Taurus, the Eight of Swords, this week? Why the Eight of Swords, there? Ten of Swords, yeah. And the Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so they're in pain. Sorry about that bird. That bird is loud. Yeah, Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. They're thinking about this ending and it, it's hurting them. They're definitely in pain. They definitely miss you. I'm getting like a missing energy. They miss you. They miss um, being next to you, being around you, talking to you. I'm getting like nostalgia for some reason. I feel, I feel an energy of nostalgia. But yeah, this person feels like they can't do anything about it. They feel like they've run out of ideas in regards to, you know, saving this relationship. But we do have the death card in reverse. So this person, they're trying to accept this ending, but they're not there yet. With the death card in reverse, this is someone who's not, who's still not able to let you go energetically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. But they do feel defeated with the strength card in reverse. They feel very defeated. Keep in mind, Taurus, I have no idea what happened between you two. I don't really know the details. I'm just reading um, their energy here. But I don't, I don't know the story here. This person feels humbled also. With the strength card in reverse, you humbled them in some way. Let me clarify that one. Why is the strength card in reverse here, Spirit? <coughs> Why the strength card in reverse? 
Okay, we have the King of Cups. So this person does have a lot of love for you, Taurus. A lot of love for you. A lot of love for you. They feel like they feel like you're the one for them. They're not interested in anybody else. I don't know if there was a third party situation um, that happened between you and them. If that's the case, I feel like this person is not interested in, in whoever else was in the picture. They just want to be with you. They see you as, as the one for them. Because I am sensing guilt in this person's energy. So this person does recognize that they sabotaged the relationship. But they feel like they don't have any excuse. So they don't know what to, what to say to you because they feel like there's nothing they, that they could say to, to, to justify whatever they did wrong. All they can do is apologize, but I'm not, I'm not seeing an apology here. I see them holding back any type of apology. It's like they don't, they don't want to be humiliated or they don't want to be even more humiliated, you know? So I feel like they're just kind of keeping their distance. Holy moly, that bird is loud. I haven't heard birds in this area for a while. <clears throat> All right, that bird, you know, birds represent communication. I feel like that bird making all that noise, I feel like it represents this person wanting to talk to you, wanting to badly talk to you, like badly. Like they have a lot to say. They have a lot that they want to get off their chest. But they're keeping all of that repressed. All of their feelings and, you know, everything that they want to tell you, they're just repressing that. Yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Again, emotional repression. But here we have Six of Pentacles and the Judgment card. They want a second chance with you. They want a second chance with you, but like I said, I feel like this person feels kind of embarrassed or humiliated in some way. It does look like you discovered something about this person or... Um, I feel like you discovered something or you brought something to the light that they were keeping a secret or that they were hiding. Because the hangman in reverse can be an energy of, aha, uh -huh, I knew it, aha, uh -huh, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. I knew you were keeping this from me. I knew you were lying or I knew you were hiding this, you know, something like that. So like I said, I do feel like this person is feeling kind of um, uh, humbled here. I keep getting humbled. All right, that's what I see um, in regards to the energies for the week, Taurus. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, and I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to be taking a, a deeper look at what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, and also what actions will they be taking towards you by the end of the week. We'll see if anything happens here between you and them. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.